welcome. 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 Welcome to Morency. My name is Eric Hill, and this summer I worked as a recreation intern with the company Freeport Macbrand Copper and Gold Incorporated. I worked out of the uh, Morency operations here in Arizona. Uh, Morency is located in the southeastern portion of Arizona, down by the city of Safford. Uh, I worked for a lady named Amanda Young. Uh, She's the the town site recreation specialist, and uh, we had a great a great time this summer working together, and I learned a lot and uh, had an awesome experience. So let's check out what I did this summer. This is what a normal day of my internship looks like. I have my feet up on the desk, I have my Parks and Recreation magazine, I'm blasting some tunes, and check my Facebook status. I wish this was what my internship was like, but uh, unfortunately it uh, has never come close to looking like this. Pretty much every day we are packed full um, from starting time to finishing time, even past that, uh, with all sorts of stuff that we have to do. Um, this summer I've done a whole variety of different things. Uh, some, of the, some of the things I've done is basically department-wide photography. So I've used my photos that I've taken throughout the summer for our social media, um, for our fall activity guide that we're coming out with. Those My photos are in there. And uh, flyers, marketing, anything like that. It's kind of my photos have been put into those areas to use throughout the town site. So that's sort of a, a neat thing. Also, I've been working with um, my boss and one of our other coworkers to kind of help uh, design and plan everything out for our fall recreation activity guide um, that's coming out very soon. Um, so that's been sort of neat to kind of plan, help plan us uh, for the next season. Um, also, I've been working with social media. I've been doing our Facebook page, uh, posting pictures, posting actual posts. Um, adding friends, um, messaging people back when they ask us questions and stuff like that. So it's been kind of nice to interact on that. Um, also, I've worked in creating ourselves a marketing distribution plan. So basically, we have a whole plan set up uh, that allows us to know when, where, and why we are distributing certain marketing materials and uh, flyers and etc. So basically, if we have a, a wet and wild water park trip, I know when I'm distributing that marketing material, uh, where it's going, how it's being posted, if it's being posted via Facebook or flyers around town or email, etc. Basically all that's pre-planned out and that's what I did this summer, just kind of pre-plan everything for us so that way we're ready to go and uh, it's very low maintenance. Uh, something that also I've done is work with our youth, uh, uh, our youth here in Renzi and I ran a golf camp. Uh, so I basically spent five days out at a local golf course and uh, taught them golf, we played golf, we did all sorts of fun games and stuff like that. So that was a, a fun, enjoyable time. And then also sort of one of my favorite things to do this summer um, that I've, I've been doing and still uh, going to continue on doing for a few more weeks here is running our adult and our youth bowling league. Um, so every Friday night and every Saturday afternoon I get to go and I get to go bowling. Um, on Friday nights we have our adults. We have probably 40 to 50 adults that are every night um, for that bowling league and we bowl and it's a good time. Same thing on Saturdays we have about 10 kids or so and that are there consistently and we uh, basically just bowl for fun. So it's nice to kind of hang out and uh, basically get paid to bowl. <laughs> Uh, something else I've been working with is kind of, uh, since we're in an older building, is some facility and safety management. Um, basically go around our facility and check in to make sure it's safe. We're up to certain standards. We don't have ceiling tiles falling down. Uh, and if we do have issues, I've been reporting those and kind of uh, doing my best to make suggestions on how we should fix those issues. Um, also, something else that's come in kind of key, like a key responsibility is building our, basically our recreation kit, as we call it. Um, basically we're trying to create like a pre-packet uh, set of papers that has basically, if a new person came in off the street, we could hand that to them, to them for say an art camp and they could have all the information that they need to go and teach that art camp right then basically. They'd have the welcome letter, the instructions, they'd have uh, um, parent letters, they'd have their uh, materials list, everything like that. It's already all pre-made. So I've been working on creating all those packets so that way uh, we, next time we have that art camp we don't have to go and recreate those files again. We already have them in place and uh, we just print them off and then go teach our camp. Um, the final thing that I've been kind of working on that's kind of important uh, for myself but then also my transfer, transferability of skills to say another rec center in uh, Colorado or something like that is our recreation track program 
our computer program that tracks all of our, our patrons and uh, people who are in classes and tracking rental of the facility and different things like that. So it's our computer recreation tracking program. It's been nice to kind of learn how to use that and also um, more or less learn how to use it for the things I've been working on here, such as printing out rosters and contacting uh, patrons and stuff like that. So that's been kind of cool. Uh, the final key thing I've been working on is our summer concert series. Uh, we have, like I said, we've had a series of bands come and play in our town. Uh, so I've been in charge of just making sure they're getting here, they have their hotels, they have uh, we our parks are ready to go for them to play in. Um, I'm kind of the, the key contact for the day, so if anything happens, they contact me. I'm there uh, that night at the concert to make sure things run smoothly, uh, do our safety electrical tests, anything like that, and basically uh, also uh, take photos of the event. So that's uh, one of the other responsibilities I've had this summer. Um, unfortunately, like you saw at the beginning, I can't have my feet up every day. It would be nice, but uh, in the recreation world, uh, our feet are normally on the ground and running around doing stuff. So I've enjoyed my time and I'm glad I've stayed busy. Um, I'm glad my, my boss Amanda has kept me busy and uh, has allowed me to experience multiple different things throughout the summer. So that's pretty much uh, just some of the key things I've done this summer. Some of the challenges I faced this summer were department and company-wide safety. Uh, some of the successes I had this summer were getting safety trained and then putting that safety training to use uh, throughout the company. And then also I got to, uh, to manage our social media for the department and also I got to host a 4th of July 5K run event. One of the cool things about living in a mining town is that we have all these awesome different huge machines that we get to work around and see all the time. That's been one of my favorite things this summer during my internship is while I work in the recreation department, I do have to interact on a daily basis with people inside and outside of the mine and people who do do work on the big equipment. So it's been kind of cool to be able to go in the mine and see the process and see all the big machines and stuff like that and get to kind of uh, deal with that on a, like a daily or a weekly basis. One of the fun things I like, one of my favorite parts of my internship was getting to wear my PPE, that's my personal protective equipment every day. That's where we have our hard hat, we have our orange safety vest, and we have our steel toe boots, and then also protective eyewear. That's something that's 100% mandatory in the mine or anytime you're around any kind of equipment or anything like that. So that's been one of my favorite parts is to put this on and be able to go in the mine and kind of do something that I don't Now that my summer internship's coming to an end, uh, I am I'm, I'm, I am happy because uh, I'm going to be finished with college. That's always a nice thing. But then also I'm um, pretty happy because uh, the company offered me a, another internship for the fall. Um, so then now from the end of August, basically the first of September through December, like through the end of December, uh, I'll be able to be a fall recreation intern here in Renzi. Uh, that's also sort of neat uh, because that right now the company is in a uh, kind of a slow time. They're cutting some jobs. Uh, they're not hiring on as many people as they want. Uh, they're cutting some spending um, just because the price of copper is low. Um, so what's kind of cool is that uh, they didn't want to have any more recreation interns come back on for the, for the um, fall season. But um, just because I had done some, such a good job and um, my boss liked me a lot and liked the way I worked. Uh, she kind of fought for me uh, to get me um, to be able to have that fall internship. So um, lucky enough, I get to be back for the fall. Um, so those are sort of my plans for after graduation. Um, come December time, once my fall internship ends, I hope to uh, um, get a full-time position here in Marenzi. I really like the town, I like the people, uh, the great sense of community. So built should be finished so um, when that's done uh, there'll be more jobs that are opening up for um, people that need to be hired for those so hopefully I'll be able to uh, get one of those full-time positions uh, come January time um, when the new rec center is finished being built so those are sort of my plans for after graduation um, and I hope to uh, have a good fall semester here or, or fall season um, and I hope to uh, continue 
on with uh, all the work I'm doing and I hope that they, um, I can still prove myself that I'm a valuable asset to the team and um, they'll definitely want me back on for the, the winter season and uh, keep me for a full-time position when that comes available.